So in the last couple of tutorials, we've been basically looking at how to handle variables and solve for them when, we have a, when, we're, when we're adding with them. Basically, we've been adding constants. You know, this is a little bit of terminology. We've been adding constants to variables. So constants, and that's a plus sign, by the way, variables to net up. And, and you know, we've figured out, we've, we've known the, val you know, the value of the expression of the um, equation. Basically, what we've been doing is basically subtracting the constant from the value to find our variable. Now, if you're kind of confused, don't worry. I'm going to explain this off real quickly before we start focusing on something new. Constants are basically um, numbers that will never change, no matter how no matter how you write them. As long as you write them exactly how they always look, they'll they'll never change. So let's say 46 is an example of a really good constant. 46 will never change. You can write 46 a million times and it'll never change. You can I mean you can always try to set 46 equal to something else, but this is impossible. How can you how can 46 ever be equal to 34? No, that's not that's not possible. 46 has to remain 46. That, that value has to remain the same. Meanwhile, variables are little numbers that can change. We can have x one moment equal to 64, but we can very simply just set x equal to 34, and then now x will be equal to 34 every time we look at it. So variables are, are can be constantly changed to fit our needs, whereas constants basically are set values. So using that information, we've been basically adding a variable to content to constants to constants constant to get at us a certain value. Y plus 16 equals 20. What we do first is basically we just take off 16. So I'm just going to be taking, I'm just telling you guys we're taking off 16. And by taking off 16, we get Y equals 4. And that's one way of looking at it. Now we can we can solve any equation as long as there's an, there's an addition sign next to it. But let's say that we have, you know, minus 64 equals 32. How will we go about solving that? Well, we can always just subtract. Wait, we can't subtract it because that would be a negative number. That makes no sense. Now, before you get all confused, let's think about this. Let's say you earn, uh, let's say you have a company and this month you know that you lost Forty thousand dollars in sale. I'm gonna. I'm gonna forget. Actually, let's just say you lost forty dollars in sale. You can say you lost forty thousand, but let's forget about that. Two big of numbers. Let's say you lost. You just, let's say you just lost forty dollars in sale, and you know now that you know after the revenue was taken out and everything, you know your final value is nineteen for the month. And you want to know how much money you had at the beginning of like you know that loss before that loss occurred. You want to know how much money you had at the beginning. Well, you know what you do? You have a certain amount right now, and you know how much you lost. So let's say we put back the money that you lost. We add 40, which is how much money you lost, to the, to, to the amount of money you have right now, giving us 59. Basically, what we're saying right now is, well, before this loss even happened, before you took off 40, we're just going to add 40 back on there because, you know, before you lost 40, let's just add 40 back on there. So you had $59. You had $59, and then after you lost $40, you wound up with $19. So, as you can see, subtracting with variables is just as, e it's just as simple as subtracting with addition. If you didn't get that, I'm going to explain that one more time. You don't know how much money you started off with, but you know you lost $40 this month, and you wound up with $19 to come for at the end of the month. So if you want to know how much money you had before you lost forty dollars, just you know for business reasons, there's there's many reasons. What you just have to do is add the money that you lost, so that way you'd know how much money you had before you lost. It's it's logical sense. How much money you lost if you just add it to how much money you have now, you have how much money you had before. Because as you know, we're just taking 59. All this is basically doing is taking 59 and, and subtracting 40 from it. We're taking 59, we're subtracting 40, and from that we're netting us 19. So, in a similar manner, if we just we don't know how much we're taking out, but we know how we we don't know how much we started off with. We know we're taking out 40, and we're winding up with 19. 
All we gotta do is just add how much money we're taking off, and that's how much money we started out with. So to answer this, you know, equation, which is uh, y minus 64 equals 32. Oh, well, okay, that that's one way. Y minus 64 equals 32. All we do, we ha we don't know how much money we started off with, but we know we took off 64 and wound up with 32. So all we do is just add on the 64 again. Act like we never took it off to find out how much we started out with. And we get that y, oh, sorry, I, I know why I, I, I keep on doing that for a reason that I'll explain to you guys later. So now we know that y is basically into, equal to 32 plus 64. How much money you wound up with, how much loss you have, is how much money you're going to wind up, how much money you started off with. So we know from our simple addition that, you know, 32 plus 64 is 96. So from this, we can tell, deduce, that we started off with $96. This tells a little story. We had $96 to start off with at the beginning of the month. Business was slow. We lost 64 and then we wound up with 32 in our net inventory. So let's try another one just, just to see if you get this. All right, y minus 10 equals 21. Um, you know, we don't know how much we started off with, but we only took off 10 and got the 21, so we're just going to add the 10 back and act like we never took it off in the first place. And we get that Y was originally 31. So our final amount was originally 31. Okay. So before we go, I just want to teach you guys one last cool little thing that you can do. Basically, let's say we have two equations now. X is equal to 24. This is an equation, remember, recall, because this has an equal sign. And let's say we have another equation, which is basically Y minus 13 equals X. Wait a second, that's impossible. How can we figure this out? Remember, you said it to be like, you know, a couple tutorials ago, we can figure out anything just so long as we have a solution on the right. But we don't have that anymore. Instead of that, we just have some random variable. Well, what if I told you guys that these variables are interlocked? Which is what I'm telling you guys. They're not always going to be like this. But this is, for this scenario, this this variable, this equation is directly linked to this equation. So, remember the rules? These basically are synonyms. Well, remember, recall back when I said that sound and music are synonyms. You can say sounds coming out of my speakers and music's coming out of my speakers. In a similar manner, you can say y minus 13 is equal to x, or you can say y minus 13 is equal to 24, because x and 24 are equal, so you can just substitute them at your will. So now, this, this becomes very simple to solve, actually. Um, we just add 13 back, remember, because we're trying to find out how much we had at the beginning, the larger number, so we have to add and act as if that deficit never happened, that loss never occurred. We never lost 13. And by doing that, we get that 13 plus 24 is 37. So y equals 37. x could equal 24. So therefore, we just add that into our little equation. Bada bing, bada boom. y equals 37 as well. If you can follow this, then you're ready for the next step. Otherwise, um... Rewatch these. Rewatch these last couple tutorials. These are pretty basic stuff. Um, if you don't quite understand still after that, just PM Cave Tutorials, and we will gladly answer your question. Um, but yeah, this has been Phoenix Man. In the next part, we're gonna go over some different stuff. See you guys then.